Hey there, my name is Donna Savage. I'm president of Empower Fitness, and I'm also a plant-based health coach. Today, I wanna to show you how you can easily make pizza, probably one of your family's favorite meals, healthier, whether you're getting it, ordering it out, or if you're making it at home. There's a variety of different things that you can do um, to make it healthier. And my family asks for my homemade pizzas all the time. Instead of getting ordering out, they prefer my homemade pizzas. And they're really healthy so you can feel good that you're feeding your family something that they love, but that is also good for them. So to start, I like to start with a nice pizza crust. It's so much easier just buy the pizza crust already done. Um, you can go with a whole grain crust, or I like this cauliflower crust. It's, um, it's very good, it's crispy, um, and it's gluten-free because I happen to be gluten-free, but um, you don't have to be, if you're not gluten-free, then you uh, can just get a whole grain crust is fine as well if you like the thick or the thin, whatever you prefer. So some of the things you can do if you order from, if you're ordering pizza out, is you can just get extra veggie toppings on it. You can ask for a little bit less cheese. You can get no meat or less meat. Uh, so those are some of the things that you could do if you're ordering pizza out. But if you're making it at home, you use one of these nice pre-made pizza crusts that um, doesn't have a lot of funky ingredients in it, so it's very good. And um, this is what it looks like when you pull it out of the package. And it has a little cardboard thing underneath, so um, it's easier to transfer it to the oven. But just don't put the cardboard in the oven. My son did that once and it wasn't good. So, <laughs> so anyways, you start out with the pizza crust. And what I've, I'm just gonna move my camera down so you can see what I've got on my counter here. So I've got some toppings and it, it comes, there's, this pizza crust actually comes with two crusts in the, um, in the package. So I've got the two crusts, and what I like to do to mix it up is try different sauces. So on one, I'm going to go with, um, with a uh, pesto sauce. So I've got that, and I'm just gonna you know, spread that on quickly onto my pizza crust. And the other one, I will use a, um, uh, a red sauce. You can use any kind of sauce that you prefer. Um, hummus makes a good uh, pizza topping. You can put um, refried beans. You want to get the vegetarian ones so that they're healthier because the regular refried beans can have a lot of um, extra um, fat in them, uh, calories uh, from you know uh, lard and things. It's kind of gross. So yeah, so you just spread the um, the pesto sauce on there. Pesto is my favorite, and um, but we like to like I said, I like to mix it up. And then I'm just going with the jarred pasta uh, marinara sauce. And you can go with your favorite sauce, or if you want to make your own sauce, that's great. But you can just go with a, a, a store-bought sauce. You just want to look and make sure there's no more than three grams of sugar on the label. Because there shouldn't be any sugar in pasta sauce, but for some reason, manufacturers of pasta sauce, they, they need sugar in there. So they tend to put a lot of sugar in sometimes. So you want to go for a sauce that has three grams or less. Okay, so I'm going to spread this sauce on, on here on the other crust, so that I have two different types of pizza and then we put different toppings on. And you can do anything with the toppings. Um, I like to just pile on a lot of different veggies and I'll mix it up every time I do it. Um, something fun that I do when um, I have some leftover, if I have leftover uh, roasted vegetables, I'll chop those up and put them on. Those add a really great flavor to the pizza. Uh, but you can use raw veggies, that's what I'm gonna use today. And so there, I've got my sauces. So I have two pizzas ready. I've preheated my oven to 425. So now I've got my toppings over here. So I have um, some red onion. You can go with you know regular uh, yellow onion if you prefer, whatever you like. Um, you just sprinkle some of that on. We like onions at our house, so I'm gonna put that on both of them. But you don't have to put them on. Put everything on this on the pizza on each pizza the same because if you have you know kids and spouses that don't like all like the same things on their pizzas, you can, you know, customize the pizzas to what you want. Um, and on this one, I'm gonna go with broccoli. So I've got some broccoli. I chopped it up small because I, I like it smaller um, on my pizza. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some broccoli on this pizza. And then I like to mix up the colors that makes it look pretty. Plus there's different nutrients, the different colored vegetables provide different nutrients. So it's always good to make uh, your, all your dishes have additional colors. You wanna cut a sheet for different colors in your, uh, when you're making foods. 
I'm going to put spinach on the other one. So I've chopped some spinach up and I'm just going to sprinkle that on there. And sometimes my uh, toppings tend to be, you know, a lot thicker than the crust itself, <laughs> which is great because the more veggies, it's better. So I've got some, uh, some orange pepper here. And again, you can do any kind of peppers you want or different uh, vegetables. Uh, you could put some mushrooms, um, you could put pineapple, whatever people enjoy on pizza that you would buy out, you can put it here and just make your own. And there's no extra junk on there. Now, something that you might not think about is the cheese. Cheese is what really makes pizza that you get out really um, a lot, has a lot of grease and and fat in it um, that you don't need because they, they tend to pile the cheese on. So if you're ordering pizza out, you can always just ask for less cheese. And that, that's a good place to start. And Or you can even get pizza with no cheese. It's actually very good without cheese at all. If you just roasted, if you just put this in the oven without any cheese, it's delicious. Now this is some vegan sausage. You don't have to use anything like this, but I'm gonna put that on one of the pizzas. So I'm gonna put that on this one. And it just depends on what you like to, and it's good to try different things to see what works. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I like to be, I like it to be kind of symmetrical, but uh, I don't wanna be too picky with it. Okay, so now I've got my two pizzas. So this is my pesto pizza. And you can see how pretty that looks. And then this is my uh, marinara sauce pizza. Um, so it's a little more, a regular standard pizza. Now, you can skip the cheese, like I said, or you can use a vegan cheese, which is uh, very, it's, the cheeses that they make nowadays are delicious, uh, the vegan cheese. Years ago, uh, they did not make good vegan cheese. It was awful. So you'd be better off to skip it then. But these are actually very good. There's several different brands on the market, but this one I like really a lot. And usually you can find it in the, in the stores that I shop in, in my grocery stores nearby. So this is a mozzarella. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this on of each pizza. And you can get different flavors. I mean, there's, they have the cheddar and different, um, different shredded cheeses. But this one actually melts pretty well um, on a pizza. So I really like it. So there, now, now I've added my cheese. And you can see, I've got a little amount of cheese on there. I don't, I wanna go over, don't wanna go overboard with the cheese. Uh, it just adds a little bit of flavor to it. So now, I'm going to slide these into my oven. So I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit so you can see my oven. And I'm just gonna put these on the middle rack and I'm gonna slide them right off of the cardboard so that they'll cook right on the middle rack of the oven. And they get nice and crispy. The, uh, the, the, this crust is really nice. Um, it crisps up and it's nice and uh, nice texture. There. So now those have to cook for about um, 11 minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back when they're done. Okay, so my pizzas are done. I'm gonna pull them out of the oven. So I've got this nice big spatula, which I love because it, I can really get under there and scoop it up usually. There we go. So I've got that one there and it looks really good. It's nice and browned around the edges. And I have another cutting board that I like to use. And I'll pull this one out and get that up there. Okay, and so that's the, uh, that's the, the marinara one. And then I'll adjust my camera back here. And then I just um, do some cutting. I've got my pizza cutter and I'm just gonna cut it up. And it's absolutely delicious. You can, um, I'll, I'll make, depending, my husband and I will just have, you know, we'll have these for uh, dinner and we always have leftovers. Um, even though they're, they don't seem to be that big, we always have leftovers. And then when the kids are home, they're both home from school right now, I will, um, I don't make extra or I'll serve it along with some soup or a salad or something else that you can have it with it so that you're, 
having pizza, but you're also having something else that's nice and healthy. So it's absolutely delicious. And you can change it to whatever your family likes. You can make it your own and just play with it different times, different, different sauces, different toppings, and um, enjoy it and know that you're giving your family something uh, very healthy. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that and goodbye for now.